Hello everyone and welcome back into my kitchen. Come on with me, let's make this. Alright guys, so we're going to prepare our chicken uh, so it can have a chance to marinate overnight. And we'll do our tandoori chicken tomorrow. In here I have five leg and thigh uh, quarters that I've washed with lime and water and I made some slits on them, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so they're washed, I dried them off. Here I have a half of a cup of yogurt. I also have, this is not this, <laughs> this is methi or fenugreek. So I'm gonna add uh, half a teaspoon of my fenugreek, half teaspoon of coriander, half a teaspoon of cumin. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of my uh, turmeric. I'm going to add some of my chicken bouillon. You can choose to use salt. I'm going in with about a tablespoon. I'm going to also add some pepper. You can add as much or as little as you want. I'm going to do a few turns. And I'm also going to add a little bit of oil. about two tablespoons. I'm going to add some garam masala. About one tablespoon. And now usually red color is used, the powdered one, but I, I have the liquid. It's optional, you don't have to, but it'll give it that classic red color. So you just add as much or as little as you need to get the depth of red that you're looking for. And I'm also going to add the juice of half of a lime, a piece of ginger, and five cloves of garlic. So let me get this blended up and I'll come on back and we'll rub all our ingredients into here. I can't remember if I said cashmere chili powder. Alright, all right, so now I have all the ingredients in here. I'm going to give it a good mix. You can feel free to mix up your spices in a separate bowl, but I figured why bother to dirty something else up? Like when I have a wide bowl, so what you want to do is Get everything into all the slits that we cut into our chicken. Make sure every surface is covered. And those slits are gonna allow all of our beautiful seasonings and our onion, I mean our garlic and our ginger to permeate all through. It already smells delicious, let me tell you. Alrighty. Like I said, you can choose to make this more red if you really wanted to, but I think this is a pretty nice color. So I'm going to make sure it's nicely combined and set it in a container in my refrigerator. And tomorrow we will make our tandoori chicken. guys so it's now the next day I've taken my chicken out of the refrigerator about 30 minutes ago I have uh, a rack in here so that the chicken doesn't um, lay flat against the pan and I have my heat with my oven preheating to 400 degrees I'm gonna get it in there in the middle rack let it go for about 10 to 15 minutes then I will flip it over and repeat that process I'll come back and show you what it looks like then Okay, so it's been 15 minutes and I'm now going to turn them over on the other side and repeat another 15 minutes. Okay guys, so this just came out of the oven. Look at that. Mm, it smells so delicious. It was 
in the oven for a total of 50 minutes, 5-0. Every 15 minutes I just kept turning it side to side and yeah, it's cooked through nicely and I can't wait to take this to my grandma's. Look forward to you coming back next time when I promise to make another delicious recipe. Bye!